Good morning. It is November 8th. We got a mid 30s morning. It's nice and chilly, high pressure with the east wind. And Ryan and I are trying out a new spot on the River Bottom Farm. We're down on the river bank on the far south edge. That long strip of maple thicket and cottonwoods is right in front of us. We got the little peninsula off to my west and the south plot where I encountered uh, Kelsey the other night to our east. So that's the two spots we've encountered them, the central timber straight north of us. We're basically on the other side of this big um, section of food plots and cover. So the thought process is just bucks cruising the river here and we just haven't had really any winds to get down in here. So uh, this is the one day that we'll have a wind to hunt right here. So I wanted to come try it. So we hiked back in here and hung this set this morning. We've already had some action. We had a, a broken up 10 point that I think we have pictures of across the river, chasing a doe around. We've had a couple coyotes come by. We've had turkeys pitch down right here. So it's been a exciting start to the morning. Hopefully Kelsey comes close by. Good one. Well, that's that's daggers. Well, I don't know. Across the river. I can see two does and three bucks right here.
It's about 11 o'clock and we're getting too much south in the wind to stay in this spot but it worked out like I envisioned it's it's been a really fun sit lots of bucks lots of cruising just right up and down the river edge so very enjoyable sit we're gonna get packed up and uh, come up with a game plan for this afternoon for you too. All right, we have made the move for the afternoon sit. The uh, wind has picked up, it's a little gusty. Southeast wind, it's warmed up to about 60 degrees. And we've made the move over back to the South Platte staring at the map and just thinking about the best place to catch up with him. I feel like it's here in the afternoons. And also I uh, checked trail cam pictures midday today and he was on this camera again on the other field edge and then on this one on the corner here. I can see both cameras at 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. this morning. It looked like he was with a doe. So it's the same two cameras he's on just about every day. So he's still hanging out in this area. He's just not cruising around like some of these other bucks are. And we see daggers every single hunt, whether he's with the doe or not, he's fighting, he's all over the farm no matter where we sit. Clearly Kelsey's just, you know, a different deer behaving a little differently. It seems as though Kelsey's just hanging tighter to this area. We're gonna get settled in and fingers crossed he shows up tonight.
Well, we're down to our last few minutes, and I guess we were due for a slow hunt after the last two and a half days. Um, that last 45 minutes or so, we ended up seeing a couple bucks, a couple young bucks and a couple does, and we had that same button buck that comes feed in the plot every time we sit here. Uh, we did jump a buck bedded with a doe. I think it was to turn in 10, but it was a little hard to tell. Uh, I actually didn't see it. Rye, Rye saw it right where we parked. It was on the other side of the dike. I got past them before they jumped up. Um, so, you know, obviously there seems to be quite a few does in estrus, and some of these bucks are locking down. This time of year is feast or famine, and uh, it's the tale of two halves of the day, obviously. 15 bucks this morning and pretty dead this afternoon. But, Anyway, I've got to work the next two days, and 